Okay, we are called About Our Father's Business, and that's what we're doing. We're being about Jesus' business, our Father. Okay, news headlines ending in June 2019 with po possible prophetic implications. Now, as we go through some recent news events, we will see from prophetic Bible verses how Jesus said some of these things would be indicators of His return. Matthew 24, 28 says, Just as the gathering of vultures shows that there's a carcass nearby, so these signs indicate that the end is near. Remember when Jesus told the Pharisees, Oh, you see the sign, you see the sky's red, you know it's going to rain, and you see these things happening around you, you don't know that there's something going on here? Well, we know something's going on because we know the Bible and we know what it says in the news is going on. It's similar to what Jesus said would happen. May 26th, we're going to start with. 2019. Breitbart reported that Iran warns the U.S. Navy Iran claims to possess a terrifying secret new weapon that will send American warships to the bottom of the sea along with their crew and planes. Now, I, there was another news headline that said China is actually sharing some of their high-tech weapons with Iran because they want an alliance that's powerful as well. Russia, Iran, and China. Um, they have some weapons that we don't have yet. That we are just now starting to test these hypersonic weapons. Because hypersonic weapons are almost impossible to knock out once they're on the wind. Because they're traveling, I don't know, many times the speed of sound. So they're very hard to stop. <coughs> May 28th. Space Daily reported that the United States Navy ships are to deploy lasers for anti-missile defense in an attempt to outflank Russian and Chinese naval tactics by 2021. So there's a, there's a technology war going right now to see who can get the best technology out because there could be a war before you know it. Things are heating up. May 29th, Space Daily also reported that China steps up its threat to deprive U.S. of rare earths used for technology and weapons. Because in the United States, we don't have those minerals that we need to make those nuclear weapons and different things. China has a lot of them, so they're keeping a monopoly on some of the areas where they have those precious minerals that we need to make those weapons. May 30th, Israeli National News reported that Islamic Jihad leader Ziad al nakal threatened Israel, saying if Israel bombs Gaza that will bomb Tel Aviv and added that Gaza terrorists can fire 1,000 rockets a day at all the cities in Israel. On June 9th, the Times of Israel reported that Iran unveiled a locally developed advanced missile defense system on Sunday that it says is capable of destroying fighter jets and enemy drones from as far away as 120 kilometers. That would be 75 miles away. The, the state re media reported that. Also on June 9th, Breitbart reports that an Islamic State ISIS fighter allegedly captured in Syria claimed that ISIS had concocted a plan to sneak terrorists across the United States-Mexico border to attack financial targets and cripple the United States economy. June 11th, Space Daily reported that President Vladimir Putin said Thursday that Russia was prepared to drop, nuclear we to drop a nuclear weapons treaty with the United States and warned of global catastrophe if Washington keeps dismantling an international arms control regime. So there's rumors of war, talks of war. June 11th, Space Daily reported that the Chinese government convened top tech companies this week and warned them of consequences if they cut off technology sales to the country. The United States media reported on Saturday. June 13th, Israeli National News reports that sirens were sounded on Wednesday night, shortly after midnight, in the Eshkol of southern Israel. One rocket that was fired from Gaza into Israeli territory was inceptored by, was intercepted by their Iron Dome system. That's their high-tech anti-missile technology that they use. June 13th also, Israeli National News reported that Israel will act preemptively and will not wait for its enemies to attack. Said, uh, said Prime Minister Netanyahu, the chain of tests that we are dealing with is unending. So Israel's patience is wearing out. They are under constant attack from missiles, terrorist attack, knife attacks, you name it, they're under attack. Uh, I'm not reporting this today, but also we, Kim and I saw on the news that in London there's innumerable amounts of knife attacks going on all the time. It's just, it's just like a war zone in the streets. People are getting stabbed constantly in London. So I 
If you go to Europe, stay out of the streets of London. <laughs> June thir also June 13th, the Voice of America reported that the United States Navy said it was providing assistance Thursday after two tankers were reportedly attacked by Iran in the Gulf of Oman. Now, Iran's denying this, but um, intelligence says that it's Iran. Iran says that they were rescuing people. But, you know, we weren't there. We don't know what's going on. And we know people lie a lot. We know there's fake news that lies a lot. So we don't know who to believe. But believe this, Iran has caused a lot of troubles out there in the ocean. So it could very well be them. June 13th, Yannet News reported. That's uh, Israeli news. The terror groups in Gaza appear to have found a new method of launching incendiary balloons. That's balloons that have devices on them that cause fires. So they can cause fires. When they go over, they can drop them. And, there, and that is in order to ignite as many fires as possible on Israel territory. Thereby, they maximize all the damage that they can cause. June 16th. Space Daily reported for the first time, the United States Air Force successfully tested its hypersonic air-to-ground weapon on a B-52 Stratofortress bomber from Edwards Air Force Base. And it's about time because if other countries have these hypersonic weapons, we cannot defend against them. So now, of course, we're starting to test ours because we, need to, we can't let them get ahead of us in technology. June 16th, Israeli National News. In the hours before the attack on the two tankers in the Gulf of Oman, on Thursday, the Iranians spotted a U.S. drone flying overhead and launched a surface-to-air missile at the unmanned aircraft, and the missile missed the drone and fell into the water. Now, that was before they actually did knock you down one of our drones. A couple days later, as you'll see. June 19th, Voice of America reported... The United Nations Refugee Agency reports that nearly 71 million people around the world are now forcibly displaced by war. 71 million people have no home now because of wars going on in the world. That's what Jesus said. There'll be wars, there'll be rumors of wars. That's what we're hearing. Um, and they're being persecuted during and all that conflict. This is the highest level ever reached since the UNHCR was established nearly 70 years ago. This is the worst it's ever been as far as people have no home because of war. You don't hear about that on fake news, do you? CNN's not going to tell you about that, are they? June 20th, Voice of America reported... Iran shot down a U.S. drone Thursday in an incident Iranian officials said happened over their country's territory. But our officials, the United States, say it took place in international airspace. So who's telling the truth? Who knows? But I wouldn't put it past Iran to shoot, our, shoot us down. Now the United States planned a counterattack, but Trump canceled it because he asked the generals, how many people will die if we retaliate? Because this drone had no people on it. Nobody was killed. So Trump said, cancel it then. I don't want 120 Iranians to die because of our unmanned aircraft. So thank God he didn't, because that's 150 possible innocent people that could have been killed. So thank God he canceled it. But you know what? He's not going to probably cancel it again. If they keep on shooting our stuff down, you have to eventually do something because in the Middle East, they take it as weakness if you don't do something back. And they will attack you even more. So we're giving him a free pass this time, but I doubt the next time that he's going to be so patient. June 21st, SpaceDaily.com reported the United States Marines announced Wednesday that they're testing a portable, ground-based laser prototype for shooting down drones. So now you've got all these high-tech weapons coming out. Um, it's going to be like Star Wars out there, you know, on the battlefront soon. You've got robots. Lasers on the ground, lasers in space. You got lasers everywhere. That saves money too, by the way. You know how much those shells cost when they have to keep shooting those shells? Those shells are thousands of dollars each. The laser, all it costs is, is the energy to run it. It's not, a, you know, thousands of dollars per shell, like some of those big shells cost. Or the missiles. Some of those missiles cost a million dollars for one missile to shoot. Now I'm going to go to some of the recent earthquakes. June 21st. There was a 6.0 earthquake in New Zealand. On 6.19, there was a 6.4 in Indonesia and a 6.4 in New Zealand. On the 18th, there was a 6.5 earthquake in Japan. On the 17th, there was a 6.1 in New Zealand. Also on 6.16, a 6.2 in New Zealand. 
and a six point, a seven point two, in New Zealand on six fifteen, June fifteenth. And in Tonga, on the fifteenth, there was a six point one. Now on June fourteenth, there was a seven point two earthquake in Chile. And a six point four in Japan on May thirty first. And a five, a six point one in the Philippines. So. These are all over 6.0, 6 and 7.0. These are big earthquakes, a lot of them, all recently. So something's going on. The earth is quaking, the ground is shaking, and Jesus is getting ready to come back and deliver us. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah.